So today I am harvesting uh, the winter squash. Um, it is the end of September and um, these guys are ready to be put into storage. So the main thing with winter squash, I suppose, to think about when you're harvesting them is to leave enough of the stem on the, the fruit. So um, I this one here, this is Crown Prince and I think I've left about two inches. Um, you let them mature as long as you can in the field. So this stem now is turning brown, you can see. So once they harden up then, they should, it'll, they'll just be able to store well. If you harvest them softer, if they're not mature, sometimes they can start to uh, rot here just at the base. So that's the main thing to remember. Leave them in until they are, you, you'll usually know by the plants start to die back or if the weather, if we get an early frost, that'll kill the plants so they're not going to grow anymore. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll probably just bring them into the polytunnel for a couple of weeks just to let them finish drying. I'll put them up on a rack and just let a bit of air through them, but not a big deal really. They usually store pretty well. Um, and some of the varieties will store up until next May. This, these ones in particular, the Crown Prince I found last year stored all season. And I, had, I ended up just putting them in a shed, a dark, in a dark area, but dry. If it's very moist and there's a lot of moisture in there, sometimes they can start to go off say you know March April time so just to get the longevity out of the season if you've grown enough to keep you going then you might as well try and store them properly and um, so what so once I have them all picked then what I do is I come along and I'll take out the plant stalks but what I do is as I've been doing most of my crops this year I'm leaving the root system in the ground so you can see here, this is the base of the stem and I'm just going to cut it there and leave that in the ground and then this will go to the compact heap. Um, so as it's still, uh, it's just the end of September, there's still a couple of weeks of growth left. So I will rake this bed over very lightly and I'll sprinkle some uh, green manure seeds in the bed just for overwinter and I'll, again, like some of the other beds, I'll put uh, cereal rye phacelia mix in here and then that'll just give me a cover. There'll be a bit of growth. They should come up an inch or two before November and there'll be a bit of cover then over the winter time. So yeah, very easy really to harvest and store winter squash, uh, but a lovely crop to have at this time of the year. So um, I'll put them in the boxes now for the next two weeks and then my customers can have them and can store them over the next couple of months. So yeah, great crop. I think it does well in Ireland once you pick the correct varieties. So this one is the Crown Prince and I also have a new cheeky curry type winter squash, which that works well in Ireland. Uh, this variety is an F1, so it's more of a bush and works well if you have a small garden. Uh, so that's, you can see them there. They're, um, they're not too bad. They're a little smaller than the, um, the Crown Prince, but they work well again for the veg boxes.